now it's time for RTV 101. This is the segment where we talk about practical questions to help equip you to share your faith with friends and family more effectively. And I'm here once again with my colleague and astrophysicist, Dr. Jeff Zwerink. Welcome back, Jeff. Hi, Krista. It's good to be here as always. <laughs> it's Earth Day, so I thought it would be a good time to talk about the question about global warming. I know many of my Christian <laughs> friends feel very conflicted about yes. it. Is global warming real or is this sort of a government conspiracy mm -hmm. to make me buy $10 light bulbs. So help me understand what's happening here. No, that's, you know, it's really good. And this is actually one of those topics as a Christian, I actually kind of enjoy talking about because without getting into all the details of whether the globe's warming or what we do, it's really a great opportunity to just bring Christian principles into the idea because God really has put us on this planet and given us charge of it. So it is something we can be excited about. Yeah. Now, I know one of the points that you've made I found very helpful is when we think about global warming, often and our first kind of gut reaction is to go with whatever our political views are. Yes. And there's a tendency to take sides based on our political views on other issues. My, my experience has been, and I've done a few little odd experiments to verify this, is that most people, even within the church, think about this politically, not theologically. And so that's kind of one of the things I like to do is just whether you're on the global warming is the worst thing to happen to the planet or global warming is a hoax, let's look at theologically how should we think about this because there's a lot of good Christian ideas that come into play. Well, let's talk about that. Help us to think about this question from a from a Christian point of view? Well, I think from a Christian, I find two things that play into this deeply. One is that we see that God has designed the planet and put it here. And so the idea that we're somehow able to destroy the planet without really thinking about it is a little bit arrogant on our part. On the other hand, God's command to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden was to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and rule over and subdue it. So he, he also gave us charge of it. So to say that uh, we're going to destroy the planet is a little arrogant, but to not take care of it is also violating the command that God gave us. And so that's where, as a Christian, we have a really good balance that we bring to this discussion. So scientifically, I know you've thought about this help us know, is the planet actually getting warmer? That's really a big question. Uh, yes, it is. And, you know, you can uh, talk about the details and, you know, or the curves and the, there's all sorts of little things that people will poke at it and we can't trust it. But really the scientific data is very conclusive that over the last 100, 150 years, the globe really has gotten warmer and humanity has been a part of that warming. And so those two things, I think the science is pretty well settled on. Okay. So humanity is having an impact Yes. On the planet and its temperature and that it is getting warmer. You feel like that's pretty solidly yes. established. Yes. No, I will say this. You, you, if you take a position that humanity is entirely uninvolved, that's indefensible as a scientific position. But if you have the position that humanity is entirely responsible, that's also indefensible. So it's a pretty complicated topic. But yes, the globe is getting warmer and two, humanity is involved. So we need to think carefully and seriously about what that means. So it is established that that before humans came, before the Industrial Revolution, the planet did have ebbs and flows oh, of absolutely. temperature. Yes. But now we, there is also this body of evidence that we are impacting it. We are accelerating it in some way. Yeah, and, and you know, like that's that's the hard part is that when you look at how the range of what it's done, humanity is still very much within, or the human humanity's contribution is still relatively small compared to the range that it's seen, but the fact that it's happened so rapidly is what kind of gives a little bit of concern and kind of a, a, a step back and say, okay, as humanity, we need to think about how we're doing this to make sure we're not going to cause damage that we could really prevent. So going back to a scriptural perspective on creation care, mm -hmm. you know, we've been put in charge of stewarding mm -hmm. this home. What do you think Christians ought to do? Well, so this is uh, what I think is important we do is that very often if you're on the liberal end of the political spectrum, this is awful. We've got to do everything we can to solve it. And typically those solutions are, can often be detrimental to humanity. Um, if you're on the conservative end of the spectrum, you tend to think, oh, this is a hoax. We don't have to do anything. And so what I think as Christians we ought to do is recognize, yes, whether we're liberal or conservative, Global warming is something that's going on. Let's make sure we understand it and let's put solutions out there and particularly be looking for the solutions that take care of the planet and humanity. Because if God has designed things, as I'm convinced he has, those solutions are going to be the one that are really the best, that take care of the planet and humanity as well. 
I think from a theological perspective, honestly, if Christians had been paying attention to our theology, maybe we would have invented Earth Day. You know, maybe that is the case. <laughs> yeah. You know, God's given us charge. It's, I think we ought to take that seriously. That's right. Thanks, Jeff. And I want to encourage you to check out Jeff's blog at thereasons.org website. You can look for impact events.